I wouldn't change anything. I'm a, you know, a risky kind of guy, and when I was young, I wasn't afraid of anything. I'm still not afraid of anything. I could fend for myself. That's the way I was raised, and I have a lot of confidence in myself, maybe sometimes too much confidence, but I wouldn't change a damn thing. It was a, a long, long journey, and, and I got trusted with some of the best for a long time. So it's, that's what I'm proud of stuff. You associate my name with winning colors, uh, and she's what put me on the map with my first Kentucky Derby win. But I'm most proud, I think, of the respect I have from the what I consider the the best trainers in the world that have you know stuck by my side for years and years and years. That's the thing I'm most proud of: is the owners and trainers that trusted the the best blood of of the thoroughbred in my hands for a lot of years. I, I actually met Henry over there in 1987 uh, to meet with Sheikh Mohammed, and he recognized me, I recognized him, and he said, I put my two-year-olds in groups of four that go up the hill, and if they've beaten the best of the best of what I had continually, and they're six in front when they hit that rise, they're a derby winner. That's my derby horse. The sad thing about this game, or, or the sad thing about us, as soon as it happens, that that race is over with. And you can enjoy it for about 15 minutes and then I've got to go back and ride. Maybe it's a, an allowance race or whatever. Definitely the, the best race, what it looked like on paper and what were pe people were waiting for, uh, Beholder and Songbird and the Distaff or the Breeders' Cup. And uh, they just went toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe all the way to the wire and, and uh, my best friend uh, Mike Smith on, on Songbird, there there really didn't deserve to be a loser there, but man, what a show those, the filly and the mare put on. You know, it was the end, end for both of them, but they put on a show that day, and I feel like Mike Smith and I, we put on a show as well. It was the last epic one that I was in. Got a really cool text message from a guy I rode with you know, about 35 years ago at Long Acres Race, race Course, and, and he was, thrown out of the game with the permanent injury as well. Uh, Hoogie uh, Drexler is his name. Uh, Puerto Rican kid, that, well, we're not kids now. And anyway, he said, congratulations. He said, uh, 55, 55 miles an hour is well, well below the speed limit. And uh, good luck to you. And that, I, I smiled and I, I thought the same thing as uh, 55 is young. It's, it's young for whatever comes my way.